Hey guys, so I just got done filming a get ready with me for 4th of July, which is why I have the makeup on that I have on, um, and this shirt, and this, um, hair. I did have a bandana in it, but I took it out for this video, and I'm putting my glasses on because my eyes have been burning, and I haven't been wearing my contacts as much because, again, my eyes have just been burning and I need new contacts, so until I get them, I'm going to be wearing my glasses, but I just filmed that video and while I was all in makeup and hair and everything, I also wanted to film a Music Monday. Actually, I'm filming two and it's going to go up on a Music Sunday instead of a Monday since I missed last week and I have a lot of music to talk about. So I'm gonna upload on Sunday and Monday so you guys get a double dose of Music Monday this week even though one's gonna be a Music Sunday and one's going to be an actual Music Monday. So I have a lot of music to talk about and I'm going to split this up into two videos. In this first video that I'm going to be filming, I'm just gonna be talking about music that I really like right now and giving you guys kind of like a um, music favorites of the month and in the second video I'm going to be talking about music videos that I like um, this month that you guys should go check out so let's get started I have a list here that I um, started off with so so guys my camera just died after that intro clip so I'm starting over so I made a list of everything I want to talk about in this mu music Monday and the first thing on my list right now is the song Follow Your Heart by the Nashville cast and it's actually sang by Claire Bowen and the guy who plays Gunner, which I can't think of his name right now. Um, Sam Polito, I think is how you say his name. But um, that song and all the songs that I'm going to talk about are just super relevant to my life right now. Um, this song in particular talks about constantly running into walls and not having anything go your way, but you still gotta follow your head and follow your heart and just don't give up. And it's a really good song and I really, really enjoy listening to it. I've been listening to it a lot in the car and um, it's just very motivating and I love the Nashville cast. As you guys know, I made a whole video about Nashville, so um, yeah. The second song that I have on my list is actually a song that is not on iTunes. Um, the only version of it that I can find is live recordings on YouTube. And that is the song Scars by Miranda Lander and it's kind of a newer, new-ish song. And um, I've seen like two or three live recordings of it but I cannot wait and I really pray and hope that she puts it out on iTunes for me to buy or um, releases a music video and all that stuff for it. But um, it's very, very vulnerable and it's not like something you expect from Miranda Lambert. It, it talks about how we all have scars and we all have different scars and they're different shapes and sizes and depth and they all hurt a little bit more but, but at the same time we all needed those scars to kind of learn from them and to grow as a person and it's just such a good song and I just love it and it's so not a typical song for Miranda Lambert so that makes it a lot more meaningful because it's not a typical Miranda Lambert song and if I can find a video of it, I will link it in the description so you guys can actually listen to it. But um, again, I haven't found it anywhere, but um, I don't think it's on iTunes. I have searched it on iTunes before and haven't found it, but I have seen live recordings of it and have Googled the lyrics and all that. So um, yeah, it's a very, very good song and I just recommend it for everybody. I've been listening to it constantly. Another song that's kind of an old ish song it came out sometime last year is a Kelly Clarkson song and I've been obsessed with her lately um, her new album is phenomenal her new singles that she has out are amazing and this song is one of those amazing songs that she has out it's called invincible and again it's just another one of those songs that I can really relate to at this point and it talks about how I'm invincible now I'm not a, a scared little kid anymore and I feel like that is me now like I've grown up um, I've grown up a lot 
um, in the last couple years. I'm not scared to be myself anymore. I'm not scared of the things I used to be anymore. And um, it's just a very powerful song. It's fun to dance to and to like jam out to. So um, another great song. And Kelly Clarkson, can we just say Kelly Clarkson, anything that Kelly Clarkson has put out, any of her singles, any of her music is just phenomenal and I've listened to her since I was like a kid so obviously I'm going to still support her and watch her stuff and listen to her music so. So this next song is by a kind of newer artist. Um, I think I've talked about her before in a video. I actually found um, this woman through my other favorite person which is Casey Musgraves and they have co-wrote songs together and and if you guys have watched my videos before you probably know who I'm talking about and I'm talking about Brandi Clark and she has a new album out that just came out in um, the beginning of June I think but she does have this song already out and it's called Big Day in a Small Town and from somebody who came from a small town it's kind of funny but it's also kind of like there's some truth to it and um, it talks about like what actually kind of happens in a small town and kind of a humorous way but a lot of it has some truth to it um the first story is about a girl who is pregnant at 16 and she her water breaks in geometry class and her mom didn't know she was pregnant and then like the second verse talks about how the football star gets drunk and yada 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 and then in the bridge it kind of talks about how there's a no mall there's no waffle house there's nothing like that and it's like it's such a true song but it's also got like some comedic value behind it and brandy clark to me is just phenomenal anyways and i love her and her new album from what i've heard of it so far is amazing and i love it as i always love anything that brandy or casey puts out but um again this album is just amazing that song is actually the title track of her album i believe um and it's just a funny song and it's got some truth to it so if you were from a small town you should go listen to it because it's kind of funny now to kind of get off of a pop country thing um this song is kind of a little bit different from my music mondays but i really really like it and i've been listening to it a lot and again it is very relevant to my life and it's called all my friends by snake hips snake hips something like that um i don't know the exact artist i've never heard of the artist before this song but somebody had this song on their snapchat one time and i started listening to it and i really like it it's again really relevant to my life i just turned 21 and the song talks about how all his friends are getting wasted and he is not really about it and that's kind of how i feel at this point um like I said, I just turned 21 in January, so I partied a lot in high school, actually. So I've just kind of gotten it all out of my system at this point, which people told me that would happen. Um, I still drink from time to time, but um, I'm not wasted all the time, and it's just very relevant to my life. I've kind of like simmered down a lot. Um, I don't party as much as I used to. I don't do anything like I used to, and all my friends are still still doing it or are just now starting to do it so um and I'm not really about it and this song is kind of funny um it's another good song to dance to it's got a good beat and um yeah it's just a good song and I've been listening to it now this is just another song that I'm going to throw in here that is probably not going to be typical for my songs but this is actually a gospel song and not like gospel gospel it's by mercy me and it's called dear younger for me and it's basically everything that you would tell your younger self but also that you wouldn't tell your younger self he sings about this is what i want to tell my younger self but if i tell my younger self this then i won't have the experiences that i have now i won't have learned the lessons that i learned now and i wouldn't be the person I am today if I would have avoided those things and that's kind of what it makes me think about um kind of makes me think about what decisions I made to lead me to the person I am today and um just what slight change in my life could have completely changed my life the way it is now so 
Um, it's a good song. It's another good song that I've been listening to in the car. I listen to most of my music in the car, so, um, and I like to jam out when I'm by myself, and, um, this is another one of those songs that I've just been jamming out to lately. And another song that I think most of you guys have probably heard by now. It is called Messing Around by Pitbull, and this song reminds me of some people in my life. Um, not me, but, like, friends of mine and stuff. And it just, it's another good song to just jam out to, and it's kind of funny, it's got a funny kind of uh, meaning behind it, and um, it's just really funny and it's really fun, and I'm sure all of you guys have heard this song by now, or have heard somebody singing it or in a video or something, and it's just really funny to me, so... Um yeah, another song that I've just been jamming out to. And the last artist slash song that I want to talk about, this is for you Taryn, is the wonderful and great Sarah Simmons. If you guys don't know, Sarah Simmons was on season 4 of The Voice, I believe, and she is amazing. Um, her blind audition, first of all, blew me away. I swear she could have won it. I don't understand why she got voted off so easily, but she sang One of Us for her blind audition. It was amazing. She's got a very alto toned voice, but she also has like grit in it. Um, you just have to listen to it. She's amazing. She also sang Wild Horses, which blew me away. She sang Sarah McLaughlin's Angel and killed it. Every time I listen to that song still to this day, it just gives me chills and it's so amazing and Sarah's amazing and she's so, she seems so friendly and so nice and um, she, I mean, I follow her on Twitter and she's always constantly tweeting fans. And gorgeous and there's just not enough good things I can say about her. I absolutely love her. She's got an amazing voice. She's so talented. And she has a new song slash music video out and it's called Honey I'm Fine and it's again it's got like um, a little bit of a comedic um, thing about it in the video um, especially at the beginning but once you get into the video and you see what actually she's talking about and the words and the video and it all just like ties in together then you kind of see the seriousness behind it. Sarah's voice is just amazing. You guys have to go listen to it. It's so good and um, if you want you can go listen to her voice performances too because they are again so good too and I just love her voice. She's got such a unique voice so you guys should all go check her out and um, yeah. So that is it for this video. I was going to go ahead and film the other video, um, the other Music Monday video for today, but since it is so late, it is like 10.30 at night, and I'm starting to yawn and get tired, and I also have to edit these two videos, so I think I'm just going to film the other Music Monday um, tomorrow. Yes, um, I'm going to go. If you guys like this give it a thumbs up and go check out all that music and leave in the comments what you think if you have seen it or go watch it and then come back to this video and tell me what you think of it because it's some amazing music and I just love talking about music even though I'm not very descriptive about music I'm not very picky about music and I don't know how well I do of explaining the music that I talk about in these videos but I really like doing them and I'm going to continue to do them so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments of what you think of, of these songs or artists or whatever and I will see you guys tomorrow or whenever hopefully tomorrow and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys